David Monnier is an analyst on African politics. He joins me now from Johannesburg in South Africa. David, how is the um, anniversary being celebrated? What's the real mood of the country 32 years on? I think uh, it's a critical day for Zimbabwe. I think uh, both parties, uh, ZANU-PF as well as MDC, are quite aware and I do acknowledge that it is indeed important to celebrate um, freedom, independence from colonial power. However, I think the lack of development on a number of fronts in terms of the economy not doing well, given the last 10 to 15 years, lost years in terms of uh, political bickery, uh, violence and other disturbances in the country, it seems as if the two political parties and political heads don't have any uh, ideas in terms of uh, taking the country forward. Uh, they both have uh, different themes for independence. ZANU-PF is talking in terms of uh, economic uh, empowerment, uh, black economic empowerment, while uh, MDC is talking in terms of peace. And these issues are neither here nor there. There is um, a need to have uh, uh, common, consolidated ideas and take the nation uh, in their confidence in terms of what's going to happen politically, uh, the reforms of the constitution, what are they doing to attract foreign investment, uh, to bring back the Zimbabweans who are all over the world. This kind of issue seem not to be coming out um, uh, um, right now. Well, th that's the key point, isn't it, David? I mean, forget the ZANU-PF's empowerment politics. The real issue is the, the fact that Zimbabwe has been described as an economic basket case because of the incompetent handling of the economy and there's been a massive brain drain as Zimbabweans leave in, in increasing numbers. So the country is a complete, in complete collapse and that has to be down to, the, to Mugabe, doesn't it? Yeah, um, to a larger extent, this has been the man who has been in power since 1980 and therefore I think one would uh, put the blame um, 80 to 90 percent on his shoulders. Um, but having said that, there is a need for the opposition uh, movement uh, led by Prime Minister Morgan Changirai to play also a critical role in terms of uh, moving away from um, uh, rhetorics and, and have really workable ideas that takes the country forward far beyond the individual President Robert Mugabe. But how can he do anything, David? Morgan Changarai is supposedly, as you, as you correctly say, uh, Prime Minister, but the country is being ruled by a military dictatorship and he, he would have any say in the day-to-day -day running or long-term planning, would he? I think you could say that um, three, four years ago, but this is a man who is locked up in a government of national unity. So to a larger extent, he is also responsible uh, for what goes on in that country. And therefore, I think what is important, since they are, have agreed uh, on global political agreement that they signed, they have to take the country forward in terms of ticking the boxes in terms of what they've achieved what they have promised the Zimbabweans and the international community that they're going to agree on setting the debt, reforming the constitution, dealing with issues of violence on the ground. Yes, ZANU-PF has more power and uh, uh, Morgan Trangirai also has to influence as well as uh, persuade uh, um, uh, use uh, political skills to uh, nudge and as well as uh, cajole President Mugabe in the right direction. I'm not sure if he's doing that. David Monique, an analyst from uh, Johannesburg. Thank you, David.